Hi guys, it's Kian. So today I'm here with Parker and I'm gonna clean his body with magic sponges and wash him as well. So that's what the tub is here for. So let's go. So the first part of this uh, cleaning Parker bit is to take off his clothes. So as part of my debt year, I wanted to take better care of my dolls and pay them more attention and really just appreciate them. So for me, part of that is really like cleaning and maintaining my dolls. Um, and of course, that's something that a lot of doll owners would just do. Um, but it wasn't something that I did very regularly. Uh, so Parker here is on a little Monica body the Harmony body, which is the 63cm boy body. And I've had this body since 2014, and you can see how loose it is right now. Um, I've not restrung it since I got it. Yeah, and you can see that the chest just naturally um, slouches back. And his arms are not very... Um, they don't really hold their position very well, like moving forward and back. Yeah, so, yeah, you see he hit himself and then he <laughs> kind of like got into a weird shape, right? So this body is super, super loose. Um, yeah, and there's quite a bit of dirt on him as well, just like from regular handling. And yeah, you can see there's a bit of like dirt marks on his neck. So... I do clean him once in a while with magic sponge, like just cleaning, but there's a lot of places that it will miss, like inside the joints. And then of course, the fact that I clean him with a magic sponge won't help that he's loose. So yeah. So there will be dull nudity from now on. Um, yeah, just a warning in case anyone is surprised about that. So, um, the first thing to do would, of course, to be to unstring him. So I usually start with the hands and um, carefully take out the S hook of the hand. And be careful not to let the elastic snap, because sometimes when it snaps back into the hand, it could um, send pieces flying. So just be careful about that if uh, you've never unstrung dolls before. Then after that, slowly just take out every piece. So... While I was doing this, I realized that I did put some kips in his shoulders back in the day. Um, and here I'm checking to see whether there's any markings inside his um, parts that marks L or R for left or right. So I didn't find any earlier. So because of that, I decided to lay him out quite carefully uh, to make sure that I don't mix up the left and right parts. But afterwards, I did find that he doesn't have labels on the right hand, but on the right side of his body, but on the left side there is an L inside um, the pieces. So yeah, so here I'm checking, but again I'm like, I didn't I didn't catch it. It's very very faint. And yeah, so anyway, I decided to lay them out like all the left side pieces on one side and all the right side pieces on one side so that I don't mix it up. And then to the torso parts, um now the upper torso has the elastic left, so just take all of them out. And because Little Monica strings their body with an O-ring instead of an S hook, I had to cut the elastic to get it out. Usually I would save the elastic just uh, for some comparison later when I do string him up again. Um, yeah, but you can always just toss it out if you want. And after that, yeah, I was just looking at the inside. The neck has this extra fill-in fill piece. I don't really know what it is. And then for the small parts like kips and o-rings and s-hooks, I usually keep them someplace safe and the elastic, you can toss it if you want, I usually just keep it until I finish it, finish stringing the door. So now we move on to the cleaning part. I usually get a tub of water. I just clean tap water and then this is me scrubbing at real speed just to give you a sense of like how fast I do this. I do it quite slowly. Um, yeah, so my method to clean my dolls is that I would not regular maintenance would just be like a damn magic sponge and then like I would just wipe over him. Like some somewhat similar to this, but of course not so wet, right? 
And then when I do a proper deep cleaning, um, I would like really soak the door in water. And after that, I will also wash it with uh, a bit of soap and then rinse with water. So um, I've also browsed like what other people, what other owners have done. So like, I think um, Anna Quinn's video, I'm sorry if it's Anne Quinn or Anna Quinn, I, I kind of forgot, but her video on like how to maintain dolls, um, how to restring and clean your dolls is really good. Um, the only unfortunate bit is that it's in Mandarin, um, so some of you may not understand it, but basically what she did is that like for her cleaning part, she has this 3M uh, sanding sponge, which is, I think she uses fine, so she would like lightly sand that, like not aggressively, just gently like wiping over so that it removes the thin layer of dirt over it, and after that she uses a damp magic sponge, damp magic sponge to like just gently wipe over everything. So her dolls don't like touch a tub of water like the way mine do, uh, so that's her way of cleaning. Then I'm sure there's other ways of cleaning, um, but this is just how I've always done it. And like the reason why I'm doing this is because this doll is like seven years old and he has a lot of dust inside everywhere. So I really wanted like to just wash and clean and like spray out all the dust stuff. So that's why I, I decided just to do it with like full water. So yeah. If you watch any parts, like right now the head cap right, has magnets, if you watch any part that has metal, uh, I would advise you to dry them quickly so that they don't get rusty. I have a few of my door, doll's head cap magnets get rusty, so that's not very fun. Um, yeah, and then after I scrub them, what I'll do is I'll go into my toilet and spray them water. I'm not actually spraying them right now because I don't want to splash my camera, but I'll spray it into all the all the string channels and then like I'll try to have the pressure higher so that I can actually spray out any dirt or dust inside and I'll do it for all the pieces. So this would like just really get out all the remnant dust and all that and also like get rid of any like dust from the magic eraser earlier. Then I'll just use a plain um, like a white soap so it doesn't leave any color to um, like just clean all over the resin and then after that rinse with water. So um, if you're concerned about this, I'll suggest testing the soap on like some soap or like mild gentle detergent I guess on some um, parts of the doll that's not noticeable. Um, yeah, for me this soap that I use is like actually a, a soap, a body soap, so um, it doesn't really have any fragrance or anything, it's very plain and honestly I use it quite often, like I use it as the last step of my face up removal process to remove any cleaning agents, so I know it's fine. Um, but yeah, if you're not sure, just uh, maybe do a small test. So after that, I would lay out a towel to put the pieces to dry. So the two torso pieces, I would just put them onto the towel and let them dry. And I continued uh, with a new piece of magic sponge on the hands and the feet. So I'm doing the right side now and yeah so basically I just use the magic sponge to go over everywhere again. I try to scrub as much as I can like even the nooks and crannies even I mean like the magic sponge is kind of um, not so firm after you soak it in water so it's a bit difficult but I do my best and that's why there's parts that I can't reach and that's why I really like like to use the water spray to just get rid of all the stuff inside. Yeah, so this part is quite repetitive. When I actually do this, um, like not on video, I would play some music and then um, I would just do it slowly and yeah, just enjoy it, like look at a doll, have fun with it. It's honestly more relaxing than this sped up video would make it look. Um, yeah, and then like again with the S-hook and all that, clean it, dry it, keep it somewhere safe. I usually just get a container to do it. And feet. Feet. Doll feet gets dirty so fast. So yeah, I think like in between the toes are the part that's really difficult to wash. Um, a magic sponge is actually not sufficient. Like I think you should probably get like a toothbrush or something to scrub it with, but I was lazy. Um, yeah, so I just did like everything with the magic sponge. And... Now we're at the arms. 
and then the hand. So this time I removed the S hook so that I don't have to wash it and I don't have to dry it. Yeah. So you can see like the magic sponge really gets very deformed after that. And this is me trying to rinse the leg piece and at my tap now. So I couldn't show you the spray earlier because I didn't want it to splash. So this is the tap version. Like you should probably use more water than this. And if you find that the pressure is not enough, maybe cover the sprout so that it sprays faster. Um, but yeah, like, like if your dog is dirty, I would suggest using a slightly higher pressure. And then again, lay out to dry. So I kept all the parts on the left and on the right, and this is all the pieces after washing. And my magic sponge have deformed to horrendous states. And yeah, so I also did find out that um, the inside does have the letter L, like I mentioned. So this is me trying to show you. It's very, very faint. If you can see where my fingernail is pointing at, there is a very, very faint letter L there, and it's there for all the left side pieces, but not for the right side ones. So that's Parker all dried up, uh, I mean all clean, and that's all for today. Bye!